Welcome, my name is Dr. Jason W. Morrison and I'm a theologist from New South Wales, Australia. Psychologists help people with themselves and other people and theologists help people with themselves and God. Psalms for Healing Bible verses from the Book of Psalms to sustain, strengthen and comfort us in times of sorrow and physical or spiritual suffering. After the verses from the Psalms, there are 10 more top inspirational Bible verses on healing. Father, as we pray these Psalms, I ask you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, precious Jesus, to allow the presence and the power and the ministry of your Holy Spirit heal the bodies and the minds, the being of those who are listening. The Lord is close to the broken heart and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Psalm 34, 18 through 19. The Lord is close to the broken heart and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Psalm 31 verse 9 and verses 14 through 15. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and body with grief. But I trust in you, Lord, I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Psalm 41 verses 1 through 3. Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. The Lord protects and preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desire of their foes. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and restores them from their bad illness. Psalm 147 verse 3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalm 30 verse 2 Lord my God, I call to you for help and you healed me. Psalm 118 verses 5 through 7 When hard pressed, I cried to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. Psalm 146 verses 7 through 8 The Lord upholds me the cause of the oppressed 
and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. Therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress for Christ's sake. Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Proverbs 16.24 Pleasant words are a 
flowers and honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. Proverbs 4, 20 through 22, my child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart. For they bring life to those who find them. And healing to their whole body. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray right now for all those who have shared in these prayers and confessions. Let your spirit descend upon their lives in every aspect and respect. Amen and Amen. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. If you watch it on Facebook, like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one-off life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.